the, the dilemma of the food industry is they're producing too much food and they have to sell it in a competitive environment. Well, that's the overall yeah. dilemma. So the American food supply has an average of 4,000 calories available per capita. Per capita means little tiny babies, um, sedentary elderly people, it means everybody. It's roughly twice what the population needs. So if you're a food company in that situation, you have, and you're trying to sell your product, and you have to remember, if you're a publicly traded company, you must report growth to Wall Street every 90 days. It's not enough to make a profit. You have to grow your profits. The single biggest driver of obesity, in my opinion, is what Wall Street does to companies. So companies have to sell. And they don't care what the public health implications are of what they're selling. They care a lot about the economic implications because their shareholders want to get some dividends out of that. So they find new ways to sell food products. They make bigger portions because the cost of food is very cheap, the cost of labor is high, you can make a big portion, it doesn't cost you much, and you can make a huge profit on it. They put food everywhere, absolutely everywhere, so that if you go to a department store, there are gonna be candy bars at the, check, at the checkout counter. Um, drug stores now look like food stores mm -hmm. because there's so much profit in selling a lot of these kinds of things. Everybody eats, everybody's going to be buying food. And they advertise and market. They market to kids, they market to minorities. And, and in this warfare between the people who want us to eat well and the companies that want to sell even the worst food, they're, they're, they, they, they are, the, the, the food companies are a moving target because whenever something new comes up, there's a new revelation, then they want to package their product to make it seem that they are responsible. Oh yeah, they're really so, good at that. Yeah, <laughs> and, and mm -hmm. so, so basically, if uh, someone identifies a nutrient that's important, then that's plastered all over the, mm -hmm. it's, it may be added, but then it's plastered all mm -hmm. over the, uh, uh, the box of cereal, mm -hmm. say. But, but the issue is, Eating well involves your total diet, not mm -hmm. that you're eating a particular nutrient. Mm -hmm. Nutrient. Yeah, and I never talk about nutrients at all anymore. Yeah. I mean, just not at all. Um, I think they're for Americans who have plenty to eat and get enough calories and eat a reasonable variety of food. Nutrients are irrelevant. Um, there's very, very little evidence for nutrient deficiencies in people in the United States. I mean, it's practically non-existent. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. I know there are people who disagree with that, but there's very, very little evidence for frank nutrition, nutrient deficiencies. The big problems are that people are eating too much. And that's a more difficult problem to deal with because there are cultural factors and societal factors that encourage people to eat more than they need. Restaurants serve big portions because people love them. And people are unaware of the number of calories that they're taking in. I mean, I'm, I'm always you know, saying that if I had one thing that I could teach people, it was, it's that larger portions have more calories. I can't even say it with a straight face mm -hmm. because it seems so ridiculous. But there's plenty of evidence that that's not intuitively obvious.